Have you guys subscribed yet? Well, you should. You want to know why? Oh. I, I didn't really prepare for... Just... Okay. What up, YouTube? It is me, GrubKiller35, a.k.a. Jake. And today, I want to talk to you about my life. I want to talk to you about where I was born until now. Um, but first, I want to let you guys know there are some GTA 5 coming, uh, videos coming. I did get the game, and I also ordered a new, new mic, so hopefully later in next week we'll be able to get some better audio quality on these videos. And starting tomorrow, if you liked that clip in the beginning of the video, I am doing Super Sundays. It's a new series that I'm going to start. Most of the time I'll be playing Injustice with my brother, which is that that's who that video is with. Uh, we were doing Versus Mode. I'll be doing uh, mostly Injustice, but every Sunday I'll be doing something superhero related. So look forward to that. By the way, there's a Lego Batman in the background, um, which is pretty badass. I just like to point that out. Anyway. Let's get into the um, the topic of the day, which is me. Can we just all take a moment to celebrate me? Yeah. Just a moment. That's all I ask. Okay, that's good. Anyway, so I was born in Walla Walla, Washington. That was my hometown. Um, I lived in a pretty nice house. Uh, I don't remember a lot from there. I just know that... Uh, I lived there with my mom and dad, and my stepbrother, I saw him every once in a while. My dad was previously married, and they obviously had a son. His name is Michael. He's my older stepbrother. Love, love, love him to death. Um, and we hung out a lot when I was little. Um, that's also where my brother Tyler was born, a few years after that. I don't remember a lot of when, uh, the time he was born. Like, obviously, I was still pretty young. Um, I do have one picture of when we were both pretty little. Um, I just seen had just seen the movie Kickboxer and wanted to do the splits while I was on the trampoline and I'm making a very, very retarded face because I obviously hurt my scrotum. Um, so that was pretty fun. I'm pretty sure my brother Bailey was born in Walla Walla too. Um, not a couple years after that. Um, if you guys didn't know, I have like four, five four brothers and a sister. So I have, yeah, I have a lot of family. Um, my dad worked at the Walla Walla Penitentiary for a long time, and then he started working at his current job now. Uh, he was working as a WSU police officer, and he would have to commute uh, back and forth on his weekends and stuff, so we didn't get to see him that much, which kind of sucked. So eventually we decided, hey, we gotta move to Pullman because we can't not see our dad. Like, that's not fun. So we moved to Pullman, um, we lived in a smaller house. It was kind of like a big apartment. I don't have a lot of memories there. Only a couple stick out. One, um, the most significant one is we went to my grandfather's house just after breaking our PS1, our OG PlayStation, by dumping pop on it or something, which totally sucks because I had a lot of good memories playing on that thing. That'll be in another video. I'll talk about my memories of PlayStation and stuff like that, which is cool. Will, will be cool. Um, but anyway, so we get home, and the PS2 had just came out, and we walked into the house, and my dad's, like, setting up our new PS2, and I just went ape shit. I was so freaking excited. Still to this day, I think that's the greatest console of all time, and I got facts to prove it. It's the longest running console of all time, it had the longest lifespan, and it made the most money of any console of all time. Boom. Drop the mic. Got nothing more to say on that. Um... After that, we moved to Uniontown. Um, we lived by this hill that had a lot of snakes in it, so every once in a while we'd, in girlish the voices, scream, snake. It was mostly me that uh, screamed like a girl. But anyway, I also broke my nose there when I was nine. Uh, we were playing golf, me and my brother Tyler, and on his backswing, he knocked my bone into my left nostril. So that was nice. Um, yeah, I did not enjoy that. A little, not even a little. 
I mean, some people might, but not me. Broken blood. And ew. Um. Anyway, after that, we uh, moved to Clarkson, and then shortly after that, Lewiston, and shortly after that, Asotin. We weren't even in the Lewiston house for a month before we moved to Asotin. But anyway, um, I remember that was where I did 5th and 6th grade. I went to 5th grade camp, Camp Wooten. Some of you may know where that is or what that is, but you usually go to camp in 5th grade for like a week. I, I really enjoyed it. I thought that was a lot of fun. I was never the most popular kid in elementary school. Um, I had like uh, two girls that were like my best friends, Katie Thompson and Sierra Port. Shout out to those guys. Um, they were kind of like my gang. Uh, I played some basketball with some of the more athletic kids because I really loved basketball, but we didn't hang out too much. We were just kind of friendly towards each other. Um, I actually, I lived right down the hill from this kid named Adam Babineau, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, Adam Babineau and Katie Thompson are getting married, which I never expected. So congrats to those guys. They're they're pretty cool people, and I hope I wish them a happy life together. But um, after that, I moved back to Pullman because my parents, throughout that whole time, they had kept their jobs in Pullman, and the 45 community commute every day was just kind of ridiculous. I've been back in Pullman throughout middle school and all the way through high school. Um, I have lived in two houses since we've been back in Pullman. No, three. No, four. Yeah, four. We moved, we, we lived right next to our high school at first, and then we moved across town next to my friend Johan, and then we moved just one street up from there. And then we moved all the way over here in our, probably our best house that we've ever lived in. It is really, really freaking nice. It's a, it's, it's big. My bedroom is pretty cold at night, which sucks because it was an add-on to the house like five or so years ago. I don't even know. Um, we weren't here for that, but that's why it's so cold there. Um, I had a lot, I have a lot, a lot, a lot of memories, good and bad, in Pullman. I had my first love, my first heartbreak. Made a lot of really good friends, including Quinn White, which to this day he's still one of my best friends. Um, I'm going to tell the story of how uh, we became best friends. He, he hates when I tell the story because I tell it to like everybody. But uh, we basically, I, me and another friend, Dannon, sat at Quinn's table. They were kind of like the outcasts. I was sitting at their table. And they didn't like me because I was some new preppy kid wearing polo and striped shirts and that's not how they dress because they're rock and rollers, dude. They don't dress like that. And they didn't like that I was sitting at their table, but I stopped hanging out with Denon for a while and I still sat at their table anyway because they're like the only ones that I knew. And then uh, one night I asked if I could go to his house and like stay over and for some reason he said yes. I still to this day, I have no idea why he said sure because he, to my knowledge he didn't really like me that much. But we basically became friends overnight. Like, um, I, I, I listened to Kiss for the first time, which was his favorite band at the time. And it became my favorite band for like six years. I love Kiss, even to this day. Like, I mean, they're not my favorite band anymore, but I love listening to them. It brings a lot of the nostalgia, and that era of my life back to mind. And I had a lot of fun there. I also made, uh, my, my my best friend in the world, Anna Peets, uh, we became friends in uh, middle school and stayed friends throughout high school up until now, and we're still really, really good friends. She's she's going to be my best girl at my wedding someday, so that's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, also Emily Burke, she's another good friend that sticks out. Um, she is, she's help, She's been helping me through a lot life-wise as of late. Um, we have a lot more in common than I thought we would after all these years, but we're, we're really good friends now, and I'm very thankful to have her and the rest of those guys in my life. Um, let's see, what else happened in Pullman? A lot has happened in Pullman. Obviously, I became a very, very heavy gamer in Pullman. That's when I started playing video games more than I ever have in my life. Most of my friends, such as Kai, Johan, all them, I've told you that I, I, I started playing Call of Duty and video games like crazy. Like every day, it's just a habit now, I can't not do it. Um, also in Pullman, I got my first job, I worked at McDonald's 
for about a year. Funny story, I actually uh, I accrued a, a large number of absences and then I messed up on once and they fired me because of absences. And they, they were they were upset that they had to fire me because I had been doing really good lately um, about attendance and stuff like that. So the boss, she actually felt super bad about firing me because I didn't make any excuses. I was like, you know what, it was my fault. I looked the schedule wrong. I totally understand why you guys got to do what you got to do. And apparently people, when they get fired, they make a lot of excuses like, oh, it was the bus that made me late. Oh, I was late because, oh, my alarm clock didn't go off. They make all these excuses and I was not one of those people. I own up to what happens. And so she called me back a week later and she rehired me and I went on to win employee of the month that much, which, which I thought was pretty darn cool. I always, I've always taken great pride in that. I also worked at Walmart for a year as an electronics associate. I did love that job. There were parts of it I didn't like, but you know, that's with every job. I did like, I was the number one TV salesman. Nobody could sell a TV like, like me. They still, I bet they don't sell as many TVs without me. Um, and now I work in Whitman Living Facility. It's a senior home and I work in the kitchen as a dishwasher and a server. And I really like that job because it makes me feel like I'm giving back to those people, you know, giving them a, like, hi, how are you doing every day? And it's, it's, you're, you're giving back. It's just nice. Anyway, that's all I got for today, you guys. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And send me your questions for my Ask Me video. I'm going to do that soon. Send me your questions. All my social media is in the description below. But anyway, you guys have a good day. Peace out.